Dan Borsha takes a look at the numbers and the fallout. Tony Abbott is continuing what he describes as his new approach to tackling Indigenous disadvantage. On top of his $45 million pledge to create 5,000 jobs for First Australians... Sky News reporter Dan Borsha has more. The resignation means the safe Labor seat of Charlton in the New South Wales Hunter region will now be without a Liberal candidate. Despite the loss for the Liberals, opinion polls increasingly have Kevin Rudd on track to lose the election. How do you think that this model can actually work? Um, I think it can only work. This all comes in the frame of the Royal Commission that was held in the 90s, yet mm. since then we've seen up with those numbers increasing. In, in the last decade alone, the Indigenous incarceration rate has doubled to the point now where it was described in an interview I did recently yeah. as a cancer on, on the Australian population. And at the moment, we know that Indigenous people make up around 3% of the population, yet make up 14% of the jail. So you'd have to think that some of the detail that's in that justice reinvestment could be a different way of looking at incarceration, of spending money on young people in communities development before they get into that system. Everyone is on deck uh, saying that this is something that needs to happen. The real points of difference are in the time frame. We know that the coalition has said that they'd like to, this to happen within a year. Uh, the Labor Party has said perhaps two years. The Greens are saying let's just do this immediately. I mean the great risk of this is that if it's done in a way where all Australians aren't on board and it fails, there may not be another chance to do it again. Uh, this is an issue that's come up just Today, Christine Milne in the Press Club. Let's have a little bit of a listen to what she had to say. A policy plan of a cyberspace filter prompted an online storm. A key point within the Coalition's policy to enhance online safety for children, a mandatory filter which users would have to opt out of. The response was swift. Mr Hawke says it was a mistake for the Labor Party to underestimate Tony Abbott. The former leader gave him a word of advice if he becomes PM. Consult widely and let the ministers get on with their work. Former Liberal leader and Australia's second longest Prime Minister John Howard also sat down with Sky News ahead of the poll. He said if Mr Abbott wins the election he will offer stable and measured government.